All right, it is 9.53 a.m. and I want to go over DPLS. It did have a morning panic bounce play. It dropped from the 56.4 to the 51.7 level, as you can see. And it did turn around when it broke past this trend line. This downtrending trend line that I drew from this corner to this corner. And I just didn't trade it. I didn't really like the price action. I didn't like the way it was trading so much. But it did make a move from the 51s to the 53s a little bit. Um, right under 54, but... You know, this was something that I could have traded, but I, I just didn't because I just didn't like the price action. But I did have an interest in this. This is more like a morning panic bounce play. I would say it's a double bottom. It's not really a lower low, even though it had a wig here below this level at 517. It did a nice move towards the upside. Then it came back near the level. And then you can play off of this. And the idea was is that it could turn around and get to VWAP. And best case scenario, it gets above VWAP. And... Maybe it even tries to go green on the day. It does like the Nike check mark, but you know, this was a setup that I did trade. And my risk was this 515 level breaking, worst case amount at 51 flat. I don't think I traded a proper $10 risk level. I'll probably have to check that, but I was interested in this, but I didn't want to buy it at any point because there was a million and uh, 200 share seller at the ask at this 52 level and until that guy was out of the way or until we would panic more and maybe wipe that seller out i would not be interested in it but when it broke past it i had a super interest to get in it and i did place an order to buy 5,000 shares at 521 at 951 which was right here i did get executed again this candle right here you can see the volume Somebody bought out the million share seller and I got in at 521. Pretty good execution. I didn't have to get executed at 50 uh, to 1. And it did uptrend and I sold at 528 because it got past VWAP. And I felt like the momentum wasn't really um, looking that nice anymore. I got out at 952, almost 953, right here at 528. It did uptrend a little more. I mean, this thing can try to hold itself together, put up a higher low from here, and maybe continue to make a move towards the offside. But I think it's going to be hard to fight this momentum, this downtrending momentum that it has been following for a very long time. It might be really hard to reverse from it, but it could totally try to do something like that. And I wouldn't be surprised if it does. So that was the case with that. I don't know how much I made. Maybe like 4 bucks from this trade. I should have had. A proper ten dollar risk level i'll see what my dollar risk level ultimately was there's nothing else that i've been really interested in it um just nothing really i haven't been looking at amc i did have an interest in hmbl a little for a morning panic bounce play but it just turned around really quickly and i had to choose between trading maybe dpls or hmbl and i picked dpls so that's fine I'll make an update to show what happens to this one later, but that was a morning panic bounce play, double bottom setup right here. I was interested in buying, but there was a big million share seller at the ask, and when it was taken out here, I had an interest. I placed the order at the bid, I got filled, and it did get to VWAP, which is nice. I just don't think I was sized appropriately. I should have had more shares. Okay, it is 10.54 a.m. and I want to go over a trade with ISPC. Literally the same setup as it was the other day. An inverse head and shoulders, same similar pattern. It had a downtrend from the 5.17s. It got as low as the 4.60s and it was higher in the day. The volume is there. The volatility is there. And I decided to take a trade. And I actually made a little bit of an accomplishment in that I held on to this trade until it broke the trend line officially and it actually made me hold on to this much longer than what I would normally hold on to it I didn't trade that many shares you know in theory I should have traded a five dollar risk level I just don't really have the capital in this account right now because I'm moving money between accounts but this would have been something very cool very uh, speculative but it really worked out this was an inverse head and shoulder shoulder head and then the shoulder here I did have an attempt to buy at 472 back at 1036. I didn't get filled right here. My order sat for a while. I didn't get filled. And when it started to look like it was going to really do it, I did get in at this 473 
level at 1040 which was right here as you can see it was starting to work right when it was starting to get to the highs of this range and kind of break past it and i held on to the trade and then i got out at um, 1044 four of my shares i decided to keep one at 1044 i got out at 477 which was right here right when it looked like it was going to pierce through the trend line and i just thought okay you know sometimes the setup works it breaks the trend line you get out but then it puts up like a higher low or something like that it kind of holds itself together from the original entry or maybe the breakout range whatever it is and then it continues the uptrend so i sold four shares i just decided to keep one and with the last share i was just, i was just going to cut it if i was going to get back near the lows here and break the day low because i figured this thing over a longer period of time can get to vwap or something nicer and it was actually a really good call because with that one baby share i'm literally playing with the 20 dollar bill right here it was up training and until it broke the trend line i held on to the trade and it, i got out here because somebody you might i guess it kind of shows right here yeah somebody just dumped a bunch of shares and it broke the trend line and i got out the last share at 483 at 1053 which was right here i'm happy with my sell overall and you know i'm happy with the way i traded it obviously i would have been happier if i traded a five dollar risk level but i don't have the shares for that and the train experience i gained from this is still the same thing that i would have considered trading maybe instead of five shares i would have traded 500 or 5,000 shares so i think that's the way to look at it and um yeah i think this was a really cool trade as of how much i made off of this it wasn't much i made 24 pennies but look how i made with just one share out of the five shares um you know just as much as i did with the four shares because i sold it at a much better price because i decided to be a little more patient and actually hold on to the trade until it cuts the trend line which it did right there i think that was pretty cool and i don't see anything else that i really want to trade right now this one is interesting but it's super sketchy because it doesn't trade with a lot of volume and it has a wide spread i might be interested in that nothing with amc although it could be some kind of inverse hand and shoulders i'd be maybe trading this the second higher low but at this point that's all i have for right now and i will make an update later this was a really good trade this is something that i could trade with a lot more money and i would have been pretty happy with that and, I'm, and i feel really good with that in mind okay i just wanted to make a brief update with this one yeah, it did the level breakout thing over 58, and if maybe I was looking at it sooner, I could have been a part of this, but this one is so sketchy. Look at the way how it broke the day high, and it just shot up. This is like a super, super, super low flow OTC. This is, that is just crazy. And I wanted to trade much shares here, more than I did with ISPC, because this is on my Fidelity account. And maybe you might be asking, well, why didn't you trade ISPC on your Fidelity account if it had more cash available? I just like trading on Schwab for listed stocks. I like the platform a lot more. That is crazy. I just wanted to show this and I'll make an update as to what this one eventually does. Really weird stock. Okay, it is 10.49 p.m. and I'm here to call it off. Overall, I am up $3 and I believe 74 cents trading two setups dpls and ispc in theory i should be up a lot more especially with dpls i should have traded instead of five thousand shares ten thousand shares that would have followed perfectly a ten dollar risk level and that would have been much more ideal and as for the other setup with ispc i did trade just a speculative five shares if i wanted to have traded that one um with the right amount of shares which would have been 50 shares following a a five dollar risk level i would have made more i would have made two dollars and forty cents instead of 24 cents because it would have been 10x the size really happy that this one worked out and i got to be in the situation where i held on to a set of longer than i know i would have just following it until it broke the trend line and that was a really good exercise it did downtrend later but that was about it i had no more interest in trading it and as for dpls again i should have been twice the amount of shares that was really about it there wasn't really anything else nice except for this freaky one that broke that level and it did come back immediately and downtrend so that's it with that one that's really it for today it was just those two trades and then also watching um 
Tesla because some guy, I don't want to mention who, but somebody short, a really large position in the chat. I just wanted to see, you know, maybe his take on it. He didn't really comment very much on his short, and I think he's still short, but I don't see the point of shorting something like Tesla because at this point, it has almost become an index fund. Now, this thing can totally turn around. I see how it broke a trend line right like right here but i don't understand why be short such a large amount on this stock when it's not like a pump and dump if it was like a pump and dump something really sketchy manipulative a fake company up way too much on a short squeeze okay but this is an actual real company regardless of what people think about it they are an actual company that makes a product it's not like a pure pump and dump but i still think it was really cool and this thing can totally play out it's really interesting regardless um you know uh, whether or not i agree with it but yeah that's really about it i want to call it off right here i actually did have one more day in the tim trading challenge program because i started on the first day of april the other year so that was pretty cool and yeah i don't think i'm gonna renew it if any of you are thinking about joining the tim challenge or whatever you have any questions and you're actually watching it <laughs> near the end of the video here feel free to send a message in the comments i'll gladly reply to any questions and yeah that's that's it for today pretty good overall i could have made a lot more and um, i definitely have to keep getting better with my um, selling and having the right size as well